the case of the Memphis Bell Restoration, uh, the crew has got all the major areas painted. Uh, nose art will be, uh, they'll start that in the next week or two. With the addition of the control surfaces, we have the last major assemblies that are going on the aircraft. Uh, it's really wonderful because for many years we saw the bell and it was uh, unpainted, it had been stripped. Uh, the original paint was uh, gone a long time ago, it was repainted in the 80s. Uh, so the paint was stripped and it looked like another B-17, but with the paint being added and uh, these major assemblies being put on, it really is looking like the Memphis Bell. Today we installed the uh, control surfaces on the left side of the aircraft. That'd be one aileron and one elevator. The fabric surfaces on this airplane would be any of the control surfaces. Uh, they are covered in a fabric material. The whole rest of the aircraft is metal. Uh, so the painting process is different for those. You have to use different types of paint. Uh, it's completely different techniques for restoring the, the two different surfaces. We are using an authentic paint to the time period. It is okay. as close as possible that we could get to what they used back then. So it is the uh, period correct paints. So that, that brings up other issues of relearning how to use those type of paints versus modern paints and getting them to, to apply to the aircraft the way we want them to. When I first got here, the airplane was in multiple pieces. It was all just the individual sections of the aircraft. And now you can see it's a complete aircraft that actually looks like something. Um, when I got here, it was just bare metal. So it's the, the most transformation you could ever imagine. Uh, the paint job is to a certain period in the war. It's uh, after they completed their 25th mission, but before the war bond tour that they went on. So that's why when you look at the aircraft, you'll see several different colors of green. The painting process lasted a couple months. It was uh, very extensive. I mean, we were looking at pictures down to the single rivets on the aircraft to try and get markings where they belong. Uh, a lot went into selecting the certain colors for the aircraft, getting different versions of those colors to get it just exactly the way it's supposed to be. It really represents a whole story of what the Air Force was and what the Air Force is. It's not just an airplane. It's all about the people that served on it. It's about uh, a representative of what everyone was serving for during World War II. It's just a, a good Air Force icon.